Sport and the battle there between Michael Stick and Michael Chang, who is 23 years old, uh, world ranking of number six. His only Grand Slam title was at Roland Garros uh, here in 1989, which he won at the age of 17. However, he now regards himself as a more complete player and is overdue another major title. This year, so far, he's reached four finals, winning two of them. His opponent, Michael Stick, is three years older, ranked 12. He has won 16 singles titles during his career, the highlight being, of course, the Wimbledon success in 1991, which is his only Grand Slam title. However, he was runner-up at last year's US Open. Well, we can join the match. Stick got off to a great start. He took the first set, 6-1. We can now join it at the start of the second. Stick is to serve, and for this match, Mark Cox is alongside David Mercer in the commentary box. That really was a feature of the opening set, the fact that Michael Chang missed timing the ball so often. Really a full stretch there, an excellent return by Chang. Starting this set so much better, Michael Chang. He reads the short volley from Stick and hooks that ball cross court. Really moving very, very quickly, very well to this one. The first break point saved with the big ace. Chang had just one break point in the opening set in the second game. Two excellent points from Egalité. Stick. And here, seizing the shortness, the opportunity of the shortness of Chang's shot, hitting a superb winner, brings him back to Deuce. Good ace from the German. Put away with a relish. Oh, as he said, get that back. Here we are. Woof. Avantage, Chang. 
beginning to get into his stride now. Chang, break point for the third time this game. Just long, and Chang breaks for the first time in the match. Uh, Stick, of course, has had the advantage of playing on the centre court here against uh, Arnold Butch, and that uh, tough match, which really was a, a thriller because it was a match of such fluctuating fortunes. Having won the first two sets, Stick, it, it looked as though he was going to win in three very easily his opponent bounced back and in the final analysis in the fifth set looks as though he's going to lose it and then he won it but uh, a good match for him it certainly got his game played in and familiarized with this center court and the thing the feature about that match was the the range of shot that Stick was able to employ and a lot of drop shots and already in this match he's been playing the drop shot but a tough shot to play against a man like Chang because he's one of the fastest men on the court because he's played here himself on the center court uh, over the years but his best year of course back in 1989 when indeed he won the tournament beating Stefan Edberg and en route even Lendl Eugene Van Landel from two sets to love down, Stefan Edberg from two sets to one down. Michael, in fact, playing his third successive match on the centre court. He also played Stefan Edberg in his uh, second round encounter here. Michael making his first appearance in these championships on this court. A little yes of approval from Michael Streak. It's a good kick serve wide to the backhand and a relatively short response and he takes the opportunity Chang and an excellent serve again by Michael Chang taking stick out wide to the forehand side Chang has found his form, his mother Betty, very pleased with that. Shirt Chang, 
reversal. There's Carl, Michael's brother and coach. Complete reversal from the first set, and it was Stieck who won the opening four games. Chang has won the first two of the second. Premier service. Almost as if by playing uh, so poorly in the first set, Chang has lured Stieck into a sense of false security. And I think Michael at the moment playing too many rallies from the baseline, not looking to press forward enough. Interesting shot in this rally yeah. by Michael Stieck. It's a slow, high floating ball on the backhand, but but he jumps up and really buries it. Difficult shot. Counts oh. oh. Speaks first double fault. Gives Chang two points for a three love lead. What a strange match it's been so far. It's almost as if they've said to each other, well, we'll each take a set and then we'll get started. Well, I think there's always a danger, isn't there, with players of this standard. If one player actually plays very well in the opening stage and run, goes to a, a lead, and so often uh, the beginning of the second set s reveals a total change of uh, momentum. Michael Stick perhaps uh, just lost a little bit of concentration at the end of that first set and, and really didn't zone in. And Chang, seeing that, uh, really lifted his game. It was uh, centre court now, well patronised with all sorts of VIPs and dignitaries. It's uh, pretty well full now. It's a match this of great expectation. And on the right of your picture there, Christian Beams, who's president of the French Federation. And this is, as I say, a match which I'm sure is going to delight the French spectators. Both players are great players and differing and contrasting styles of play and really, in theory, should produce one of the most exciting matches of the tournament. But at the moment... Uh, Das ist schon beruhigend, wenn man einen so guten Aufschlag hat wie Michael Stich. Wenn man mit diesem Aufschlag ein, zwei Punkte im Prinzip sicher hat pro Aufschlagspiel. Zum ersten Mal kommt so etwas wie Stimmung auf, Anfeuerung. Ich denke vor allem für Michael Chang. Das Publikum hier, das relativ neutral sein kann, möchte ein spannenderes Match haben. Und das ist verständlich. 